Let's talk about what's new with Report Builder. If you're a new lifecycler, Report Builder is where you go to create templates for your QBRs, build presentations for your clients, and save reports to Report Locker. We'll walk through those three items. First, you might want to start with one of our pre-built templates. If you're already a lifecycler with templates in the system, you can find yours are still here. I'm going to go ahead and grab sample two, and you can see that the center of the screen populates with the first component. The components are listed in the column on the right side of the screen. You can see we have an agenda, an assessment summary, a couple budget forecasts, a couple recommendation summaries, an asset report, and a user report. Let's take a look at what we need to do for each of these items. First, with the agenda, you can see there's a little blue globe next to that. If I entered items from my agenda, so I want to check in, I want to go over um, previous projects, then I'm going to talk about the assessment and uh, budgeting and then recommendations. When I save this, and the first time you go to save the sample template, you're going to want to save it as a new template. So this is Barney's shiny new template. So now we have this saved and I have my global agenda. So when I switch companies, I can see that my agenda stays across companies as is which is how I want to start for the template. But when I'm ready to build the agenda for the Able Manufacturing headquarter meeting I'm having, I want to switch this toggle from global to company-based. And now I can say, check in with Andrea. I can talk about previous projects, the infrastructure project in progress specific to this particular client, this particular meeting. So now when I save the template for this particular client, I have it on company based. If I ever want to see the original global agenda, I can switch back to that. But once I'm really building for an individual review, I will switch it to company based. You'll be able to tell where you are in that regard because on the component stack, you can see the globe icon has gone away. The other thing that's really obvious in the Manage Components column is some of these are highlighted yellow with a little warning sign. And you can see in the middle here, that's because those components need some editing with specific company data. You've selected that you want an assessment summary, but you haven't actually picked out which assessment to use yet. So I'm going to click in. It triggers me that I need to grab an assessment and I can go ahead and do that. Same thing for recommendation summary. I'm going to go ahead and pick the two recommendations that I want there. And now I can save it and it's updated for my specific client. Now the other items were, that were not highlighted auto populate. So the five year budget forecast automatically populates for whatever data is in the system for this particular client. You can still update these. So I'm going to go into the current reporting options and I'm going to maybe say, I actually want this to be a four year report. And you can see as I scroll down, it's now four years only. I'm going to want to edit my title and make it four years so that I remember. Now, if I save this, this is changing all of my templates, which is what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. If I wanted this one specific, I would need to change the title um, because this changes again the, the template globally. It might be such the case that I have, for this particular client, I did actually have two recommendations, but I might have a client that only has one recommendation. So I'm going to select the component that I want to eliminate and I'm going to delete this one. I know many times people breeze right by confirmation messages, but we haven't even given you a default, so it forces you to read the message and make a decision. It tells you you're about to delete a component from a global template, and is that correct? You cancel it if you still have more work to do. You can say, no, let me save this as a new template, or yes, please delete globally. If you decide to save it as a new template, 
it'll ask you to rename it and delete it from the list. If you delete it globally, it will disappear across all your clients. You, of course, can always add it back if you need to, or you can cancel it if you have more work to do. So that's just something to keep in mind um, as you're switching these components across clients or individually. Now that I have saved and have this built the way I'm ready for pre presenting, I could export it, but before I do, I want to put it in presentation mode because we have some updates here as well. In presentation mode, you now can see on the right-hand side, I have a review option. If I'm in review mode, it is read only as it was in the past, right? So you can still function within and click around, but you can't edit or update anything. But many of our partners have asked to be able to, to edit on the fly while you're in presentation mode. So you can see I switched, if you didn't check it, on the right-hand side from review to designer mode. And now when I'm in the agenda, congrats, we have a new team member, Jeff. And I can save changes and it'll update and I'll, I will need to go reload when I'm back in Report Builder, but it has been saved. So now I have the ability to edit any of the text fields along the way. Now the budget was never editable, so you wouldn't expect to be able to edit that here, uh, but you can see that I have got various components that I am able to update. So I'm going to click out of presentation mode and now we're gonna take a look at, I of course want to reload this page um, because as we mentioned, it, it doesn't update, it doesn't reload the page even though I had saved it inside um, the, the presentation mode. And you can see that we have saved, check in with Andrea, congrats, we have a new team member, Jeff. And now for the last feature, I want to export this click on my download choices, and we have a new option. You can still straight download this to a report or you can download and save to Report Locker. So Report Locker will now let you capture this. It downloads it and re-uploads it into the locker inside of Lifecycle Insights. Uh, if you want more details around the lockering, be sure to check out our Report Locker detail. So, here is the new shiny new template that I uploaded. I can edit the name if I need to change it. I can delete it if I don't want it anymore. Anytime I click on the name or the title, it will automatically download and I can link it to a business review. So if I select link to business review, I can come in, grab a particular business review and now that is linked there. If you select that and there's no data, you will want to go in the left-hand navigation menu under business reviews and create a meeting to align to that. You can always do that later as well, so no worries if, if you need to associate it later. Also new to Report Locker is the ability to upload a PDF or Word file that will be stored in the locker. So if you have some external reports that you want to present at the same time during your business review, you can keep them here. Now you will have to toggle back and forth between the business review and this report, but it's now housed in the same place so you don't have to leave Lifecycle Insights while you are delivering your business review. If you wanna see what reports you have saved in your locker for Report Builder, we have a new safe icon to show the Report Builder and you can see all of the reports that you have stored there. If you have any questions, always reach out to support at lifecycleinsights.io and we hope that you get a lot of good use out of the new report builder. One more thing to note, if you do wanna start from scratch, you can always X out of whatever template you're in. So here I am in a new template, I'm gonna X out of that. That will help you start from scratch and you can start building components from here. So here you could start from scratch and stack the components on the right-hand side, drag and drop them around and edit as I've described. If you have any questions, reach out and happy life cycling.